In this video, I will show you how to make this exact animation in Blender using geometry nodes. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's start off by setting up the geometry nodes. So go to geometry nodes, and then new. And then we're going to delete the group input, so press X to delete, and then press Shift A. And then in the mesh primitives, we're going to add a grid and a connect mesh to geometry. And we're going to add a bunch of vertices for this plane slash grid. So uh, let's set it to 150 for the X and Y axis. Next, we need to turn the vertices of the grid into points. So press Shift A, search, and then instance on points. Next, we need to add a realize instances node to turn the instances into real geometry data. And the instances that we're going to use is the line curve. So we get a bunch of curves. So curve line and then curve to instance. And as you can see, the vertices of the grid is now replaced with curve lines. Next, we're going to add some noise to the curve lines. So press Shift A and then set position. Next, press Shift A and then let's add some noise, so noise texture. And by connecting the factor to the offset, you can see that the curve lines now has noise. You can also play around with the different values to get some different effects. And then to curve these lines into cylinders, we need to first add a curve to mesh node and then we shift A and then curve circle. And by connecting it to the profile curve, we now get a bunch of cylinders. And then fill the caps. And if you want to increase the influence of the noise texture, you can press shift A and then add a math node set it in between the set position node and the noise texture. And then we can multiply it by three, for example, to give it even more noise. You can also make the noise texture node four dimensional so that you can animate the noise and then increase the curve line set axis value to make it taller. Another way to edit the height of these cylinders is to add a node called trim curve and then you can set it to length and change the end value okay so let's save before we continue give the file a name and save it wherever you want on the computer the next step of the tutorial is to set up the lighting and the materials so uh, let's go into the shader editor go into the light turn it into a sun set the strength to 5 then press R twice to rotate it freely. You can also increase the strength even further. Next, we can add a background image. So environment texture, open, and you'll find a bunch of free background images in the link in the description. So I'm going to use Chelsea stairs, which I often use, so the strength to two. And then we can go in to the render settings, switch to cycles, and then under film, we can set the background to transparent and then set the uh, device to GPU if you have one. If not, just keep using the CPU. Next, we can set up the camera. So press Control Alt Numpad 0 to set the camera to the current point of view. Next, we can add the shaders for the materials. So uh, let's add a noise texture Then connect color to base color. And right now you can't see the material because we need to add it to the geometry nodes. So search for set material and then select the material. Okay, so now you can see the noise. And then to change the colors of the noise, we just add a color ramp. So press Shift A and then color ramp, set it in between. And then you can edit the colors and the ratio of these colors. So uh, just play around with the different colors. 
that you have a color scheme for this material that you like. And then next, we of course need to animate the geometry nodes. So uh, let's go into the geometry nodes editor. And then under uh, noise texture, we can animate the W value. So uh, let's save one more time. And then we can type in slash frame divided by 30. So that's for each frame, the W value increases with 1 30th units. Next, you can play around with the material and the color ramp until you have a result that you like. So something like this. Okay, so now we have the animation, we have the materials, and we have the lighting. So let's set up the output settings. I'm going to use a uh, 4K resolution. If you want 1080p, you can just leave it at 100. I'm going to make the animation last for 500 frames. Then create a, a new folder for the animation. Give it a name. And then render the animation.